next on SoapNet. Wednesdays, one life to live. Stuff like this, we have nothing to say to each other. Hey, hey, you should see our little guy. He's smiling, smiling, oh, yeah. smiling. I'm sorry, honey. We just reconfigured our accounting system. I have to check it out in case Todd manages to get someone to access our company. You account. have got to stop blaming Todd. I haven't seen him this morning. I'm in a hurry, but come on in, Commissioner. Did your son Travis come home last night? Look, Travis is a good kid. He's never been in any kind of trouble. Well, he's been communicating with a young 13-year-old girl who's now missing. Well, I hope you find her. And I'm sure Travis will call, but right now, I've got to get to work. Mrs. O'Connell, don't tell me that you're not even interested in this young girl's welfare. Now, I just told you that she's been communicating with your son. Uh, Travis didn't come home last night. Unfortunately, that's not unusual. The cops must have figured out I'm with you. You're not gonna go home, are you? I don't know. Are you gonna go home? Or do you wanna run away with me? Well, you screamed. You screamed first. Who the heck did you think I was anyway, Michael? I was having a bad dream. Yeah, probably about someone catching you spying. No, you weren't supposed to be home till tomorrow. What are you doing here? I took the early bus because I wanted to see you. I thought Jen took these away from you. I missed you. <sighs> Look, I swear I was going to tell you, okay? I tried to leave it alone. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? No. But, but I got John involved. I told John about the Paul Kramer, Dr. Long connection, and he's suspicious, too. Yeah, that's great, Michael. That's really, really great. Wait a second. You're mad at me? I got Johnny involved. He's got my back. You lied to me. I asked you not to. You swore to me that you wouldn't, and then you just went ahead, and you did it anyway. I can't even believe you. You know, you can lose your residency over this. How could you do this? I'm a... Please, I... So why don't you tell me the next time you run off with Mommy Dearest? We were only gone overnight. You know, just enough time for her to lock you away in a fun house. I just about to call the cops. Well, wait until you see the uh, art I bought for the new restaurant. In Miami, unbelievable. I was quite the commuter. I'm talking 82 degrees, clear blue skies. We sat and... 
Watch the sunset over South Beach. Mm, that's sweet. The well, sun's going down on me, and I don't like it one bit. What's wrong? Well, you know, everything costs so much. Maybe you could just front me a little cash. Huh? I just gave you 500, and you only got that because you walked in at a bad time. Oh, it looked like you were having a real good time to me. What do you need it for? What do you care? Got a rich sugar mama. You're gambling again, aren't you? You're back at the track. I just want to know how you're doing. I miss you. Yeah, not enough to stop seeing Rex. Do you still have feelings for him? Because if you do, if you do, just tell My me. My God, is that what you think this is about? It's about you. I cannot stand by and watch you trash your life again. I won't do it. Look, I tried to ignore Todd, but he stepped over the line this time. I have to protect the interests of B.E. Look, he has written a couple unflattering articles about the company, but you don't know that he's the one that's hacked into the system. Well, when does he deserve the benefit of the doubt? This war has got to stop. It's about Blair. No, I it know isn't. It. It's about our family. It's about us. You have no proof. Honey, listen. Does Todd have you mixed up in something that you're not telling me about? Hey. You didn't know that Star was going to run away. You're not a mind reader. Yeah, but I wish I would have told her mom that she was acting weird. Hey, Bill, did you find her? Uh, not yet. But we will. So don't you worry. She was hugging me so hard, like she'd never see me again. You know, if Star was determined to run away, there was nothing that you were going to be able to say or do to stop her. That's good advice, bud. You listen to your mom. Hey, anything? I talked to this kid, Travis's mother. He didn't come home last night. These flowers are plastered all over the place. Your parents must be freaking. Yeah. We gotta get out of town before someone sees you and calls the cops. Okay, then let's do it. houses that are they're renovating on uh, Culpeper Street. They're right near the Edgemont School District, and that's really great. Are you talking about buying? You know I can't take on that kind of financial responsibility right now. Well, if we sold the loft, then that you could have it. No. Well, okay, then we'll call it a loan. I said no. Uh, look, why, why don't we just concentrate on getting married first, okay? Soon. Soon. Antonio... I know that I want to be with you. I really do. But there's just some things that I have to do on my own first. Right. I understand. Do you understand? I'm trying. Really. Really, I'm, uh, I'm trying. Okay, it's just that I see you taking care of Jamie. I mean, you're offering to help me buy a house. Jess, if you're sure this is what you want, then why don't you just marry me? So you were right. I did not have to force Vega into moving Jamie out of land. Okay? <laughs> I even sent Nora some uh, thank you flowers for her counsel. I give you advice, I get fired. Nora gives you the exact same advice and she gets flowers? So do I owe you some flowers? No, yeah, let's skip it. Just... Just promise me that you will hear me out next time. I will think about it. 
There is nothing wrong with loving Jamie passionately. But if that passion gets unleashed in the wrong way, on the wrong people... Are you saying you want me to unleash my passion on you? I mean, in the, in the right way, of course. Now you got me. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. You're playing the ponies again, aren't you? You know, you lose every time. Why don't you stick to the slots? At least then you have to have the quarter before you can play. I'm not playing the ponies. I'm not. It's my business. It's just going a little bit slow right now, and I'm overexpended. But the good news is, on the plus side, I'm going to go work for nine to the hotel. Good. You can toss a few dollars my way. What, are you broke? Totally maxed my credit cards. Why don't you go ask your little blonde barracuda over there? Because she's rolling in it. She does all right. So? Can't she throw you a little something extra? You know, for your time? I'm not her gigolo, Roxy. We've got this, uh, you know, chemistry. I'm not trashing my life. I, I don't know where this thing with Rex is going. Okay, so what happens when Rex thinks that you're no fun anymore? Well, I guess then that'll be that. It's never been easy for you to let go. You know, I, I, I made a lot of mistakes. I yeah, realize that. you have. And so have I, but I'm trying to change. And if you go over the edge again, I can't be there. Get Rex up for your life before it's too late. This kid Travis tends to fend for himself. His mom says he stayed out all night before. Oh, now he's got my girl with him. I'm gonna kill him. Don't hurt him. Start running away because of me. Oh, Matthew, honey, that that's that's not true, okay? Yes, it is. She was upset and I made her feel worse. Okay. Why do you say that? Because I told her not you and Bo are always nice to each other, and I thought not you might get back together. But I knew that her parents in our world because they're always fighting. That's why she ran away. Todd just wants to reconcile with Blair. I was helping him out for a while, that's all. Okay, well, if Blair's the reason he's coming after me, then I have to stop it. You said that the only thing you needed to make you happy was Ace and me. Why are you letting Todd ruin this for us? I am not going to let him ruin anything for us. I won't let that happen. But I have to stop these attacks on B.E., okay? That's my job for the family and for its future. Can't you understand that? Please, please, Kevin. I'm begging you. Please, please stop going after Todd. Please, I just need some peace. me here, remember? Family get-together? Oh, yeah, of course. Come yeah. in. <laughs> Isn't that your old car? Thought you'd be driving that new roadster by now. Well, he probably sold it. That, that, that's good. That's a new turnaround. Yeah. Yeah. I got lucky. It was a very quick turnaround. Oh. Well, I guess it'll be a short-term loan then, huh? Well, you know, actually, I was hoping it would be a gift, you know, a, a thank you for a huge favor. What favor? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go crazy like that. I shouldn't have hey, went off on hey. you. I completely overreacted. If anybody here should apologize, it's me. I made a promise and I broke it. I'm sorry. But, you know, I, I got to admit, I, I didn't expect that big a reaction. I mean, I said I wouldn't spy on Dr. Long, but... Uh, I don't want to lose you. You're not going to lose me. I know, but people think that. But you know what? I look at Al. One day he was here, and the next minute he wasn't. I know. I know. But I am not going anywhere. I promise. I promise. Uh, well, what if, what if Dr. Long knows that you're spying on him? What if he catches you? Nothing is going to happen to me. Except I'm going to go to sleep. This leg kept me up all night last oh, night. Oh, I'm sorry, and I'm yelling at you and screaming at you. No, I'm sorry. I'm gonna no, let you go to no, sleep, okay? I just don't want you to worry about me, sweetie. Okay? Because I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna stay right here. Right next to you. Okay. Go sleep. Forever.
We'll wait till later to leave. We need time to make a plan. Hey, you want to watch TV? Do you have a TV? Yeah, I got it last fall for my 15th birthday. That's why I have these batteries. Wait a minute. 15? You said you were 16. Yeah, and you said you were 15. I only lied by six months. You lied by two years. I guess that's why we get along, huh? Tell the same lies. Shorty? Do you know who wrote that? My dad calls me Shorty. I hate it. Must be nice to have a dad who cares about you. I don't know where my father is. I haven't seen him since he left my mom. Maybe you're better off. How would you like to have a dad that always says that he's going to get back together with your mom? And then one day he just says, don't count on it. But you know what? They could do whatever they want. So will I. You think Star's parents are mad because of what I said? No, honey. They're just worried about Star, that's all. Yeah, me too. Hey, Matthew. You know, Star's parents have been uh, going through a real unhappy time right now, and Star was upset about that before she came to New York. So nothing you said made her run away. I wasn't trying to be mean. I was just trying to say how hard it is to get your parents back together. Hey, man. Y you know that running away isn't the answer, don't you? I'm not going to, but I know why Star did. She wants two parents. You know, what Matthew said earlier. Star does want us back together. You drove her away. I think I did that all by myself. I'm more to blame than you are. Please, God. Just bring my little girl home safely. I'll do anything. Anything. To make her happy. Just please bring her home. Antonio, you know, even if I were ready to get married right now, I, I couldn't possibly plan a wedding, not, not with my mom being as sick as she is. You know what, that's just another excuse. I mean, first of all, I would never stop you from taking care of your mom. All right? And, and truly, I, I don't understand why you can't do everything you want to do in life. Jessica, I love you. Okay, I just want to make it official. It doesn't mean that we have to change our day-to-day -day life. But things for me would change. How? Well, first off, I'd be Jamie's legal stepmom, and that's a big deal. And I would... I'd love to be your mother. I really would, and I'd love to be your wife. But I just don't want to lose myself in that, you know? I just think that there are things that I have to work out on my own first. Hey, so it is a big day. Natty told me you guys are getting hitched. So, just want to wish congrats, best wishes, Felicity Dada. You know, we can block out a whole t uh, bunch of time at Foxy Roxy's for you and all the bridesmaids. So when's the big day? I gotta go. Hey, beautiful. something I said? No. Something that I said. <clears throat> you didn't get anywhere with Jen? You argue? Oh, God, an argument would have been less painful. Sergeant! I cannot thank you enough for helping me out. Well, just make me money. Don't thank me. It's a business deal, see? Not a charity. Seriously, I mean, wait until you see the art and the furniture I just picked up in Miami. Whoop! Well, who was minding ultraviolet while you were off having a shopping spree? Actually, I was just on my way over there to check in with Hogan to see how things went last night. Sweetheart, I'll be back soon. Okay. <sighs> you know, the 
way that boy goes through money, you think he'd be a little better at bringing it in. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Mr. Balsam, just missed two little payments, and everything you own is mine. <laughs> Come on, Marcy, you don't, you don't really want to watch it, do you? No, no, listen, don't, you know, everyone can identify with how painful it is to lose someone, you know? It's okay. Yeah, well, I, uh, I wouldn't have made it without my friends. Listen, if you want me to take this stuff about Flash out. All right, it's your film. I'll, I'll just have to deal, all right? You, you can leave it in. But uh, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, you saw the footage. Hand over the killing club. It's really rough. I... Okay, who watched your boyfriend while you were out of town and made sure he wasn't spying on anyone? I mean, I, I know it didn't work, but still. I know, I really did appreciate it. So, I say you owe me. <sighs> All right, but only the first chapter. I love murder mystery. <laughs> I know, I do too. Michael's favorite. Well, until I actually started thinking Michael actually might be living one. I was just here. leaving a, a get well card from the staff. It was nice of you to bring it in yourself. Well, Dr. McBain's a valuable resident. We're all just hoping for a speedy recovery. Excuse me. Paul, you're just... You're kidding, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's, uh, let's sit down. So, there was no favor, is that it? No, no, there was, but I... When we were separated, Paul was, was really there for me. It was probably one of the worst times of my life, and I didn't really even know if I wanted a brother, and he changed my mind. Yeah, you know, I mean, maybe Ace can have a little brother someday, or, or a sister. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad you were there for her. Me too. Definitely. You know, I remember when you first told me you were pregnant, I, I was so thrilled that my nephew was gonna have a great little childhood that we didn't have, huh? I mean, I almost want a kid myself someday. Though I have been concerned about our mother's mental illness. I mean, what do you think, Kelly? Do you think Ace has got that gene? Why would he? <laughs> you could fill a mental hospital with our family. I mean, you got Addie, you got Dorian. What does Dorian have to do with this? Well, don't you think it's a little insane to lie about someone being your daughter? Or maybe it's just desperation. I don't know. I'm, what do you think, Kelly? Could someone be desperate enough to lie about being a mother when she isn't? I want to offer a reward for information on my daughter. Too soon? How can it be too soon? No, no, no Todd, Todd, Todd. What about Mrs. LaBelle? She worked for us at The Sun, and I think she's working at a, a local gotcha. TV station here in New York. Hey, Mr. Bigelow, it's me. I... No, 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 no news. I need you to look up, uh, what was LaBelle. your first name? Mary? Yeah, Mary LaBelle. Mary LaBelle. Yes, yeah, get back to me. Thank you. This is Mrs. O'Connell, Travis's mother. Oh, thank you for coming. Could you tell us anything about where you might think that your son is? No, Travis goes off on his own quite a bit. Uh, when he is home, he has his headphones on or he's at the computer, but this time he took his laptop with him and his favorite CDs. I found this in his room. I think my son and your daughter have run away together. We gotta go to the Grand Canyon. Do you think we'll make it that far? We'll make it wherever we want. Now ready? Eh? Turn it over, bring it back. Where'd you get that? My dad taught it to me, but it's more fun doing it with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, come on, I'm just starting. It's, but you're gonna finish it, right? I mean, I have to know how it ends. Well, 
Only if you finish your documentary. You know, Riley's really been through a lot. I think he could inspire people. Yeah, he's... he's a... great subject. I mean, the, the whole thing about the drugs and him coming clean, I mean... I could have done the whole documentary just on his relationship with his father. Wow, you're really getting to know him a lot more than I thought, huh? Yeah, it's... it's... it's really different for me. You know, being friends with a guy and not constantly wondering whether or not it's gonna turn into more. Still not talking to your mom? If she goes off the deep end again, I can't do it, Marcy. Listen, maybe she'll wake up and realize what she's doing to herself. You know, you did. Angeline. Hey, Hi. Antonia, how you doing? Good, I thought I might find you here. Got a minute? Yeah, sit down. <sighs> Listen, I, um... I heard that you had to move out of Landfair with Jamie, and I talked to RJ about it, so I don't think anything like that's gonna ever happen again. Oh, really? You know what? It's not that big of a deal. I mean, RJ will always be RJ. And anyway, it helped me kind of realize that, that Jamie eventually is gonna outgrow the loft, <laughs> and I need to start saving up a little extra money so that I can buy a house. On that note, did you, uh, did you by any chance ever hire a PI? Well, I've hired people to do casework, but no one permanently. Why? Are you leaving the LPD? No, no, I'm just looking for a little extra work, that's all. Well, I'd love to have you back. Great. Great, then I look forward to hearing from you. Deal. So how does a cop get the dough to get a rock like this? Find out what horse he's betting on. Uh, no, Antonio doesn't gamble. It's... Except on me, I guess. What do you mean? I told Antonio I want to wait. Um, not ready someday yet. Oh, so you're having man trouble. Okay, honey, lay it on me. Um, you know, this is something that I, I think Antonio and I should work out on our, on our own. Uh, are you here for lunch or something, Roxanne? Well, uh, there were two bruisers that were following me, not exactly asking me directions, if you know what I mean. I am some sort of just the usual troublations. But, honey, back to this man stuff. You know, you gotta say yes when a guy is willing, because men hate to wait. Well, I better go. I'll see you, honey. I, I don't know why you're saying these things to me, Paul. I mean, I have nothing to do with what's going on with, with Adriana and Dorian. I mean, that has right. nothing to do with Kelly, me. Kelly, Kelly, it's no biggie, okay? I just meant that when you first told me you were pregnant, I wasn't sure if you were just making it up to try and get Kevin back. But, you know, I'm, I know the baby's real and uh, sure as hell saved your marriage, just like Adriana saved Aunt Betsy's millions for Dorian. All right, <laughs> I'm with Kelly here. I don't get the connection. Wow, I... I really messed up by confiding in you. Oh, come on, Kelly. You don't mean that. I, I gotta go check on Ace. Sometimes I don't know when to shut up. I didn't mean to hurt her, all right? I, I, I had too much to drink last night, and I guess I'm still feeling the effects. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, whoa. My alcohol is a dangerous thing for me. It just gets me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Yeah, I'll see you. What the hell kind of a mother are you if you don't know where your kid is at night? Okay, you know what? Star did the same thing, Todd. Just stop, please. I work very long hours, and when I'm home, I'm exhausted. Well, what about Travis's father? I don't know where he is. He left after our daughter died. I can't lose another child, and I'll do anything I can to help you find your little girl. Okay, Just tell okay, me what you okay, need. Right it's all right. I used to call my little sister Shrimp Girl. Why? Well, when she was a baby, she was kind of pink, and she'd curl up into, like, a little ball, like a shrimp, and then go to sleep. Oh, my 
sister didn't hate shrimp girl as much as you hate Shorty. Well, I don't necessarily hate it. I just don't like talking about it. Yeah, I don't like talking about shrimp girl either. You miss her, don't you? Yeah. Won't you, won't you miss your brother when, when we go? But, uh... I won't miss him following me around and copying everything I do. Yeah, my sister did that, too. Hey, um, we were gonna watch TV, right? Is it about Kevin? No. You ready? Oh, I, I wish I could. I just, I have to finish this column that I'm writing for Craze Magazine, and I want to spend time with my mom. Okay. What? Well, are you sure that things are okay? Yeah. you said you would stop overreacting. Well, that was before you did something silly like rehiring Vega. Okay, this is a perfect time for you to start being the new you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Because I care about you, we're just gonna let that go for now. Good? Good. Then you can tell me what your problem is with Rex Balsam. And where do you get that? I'm observant. Mm. Okay. If you back off me and Balsam, I'll back off you and Vega. <laughs> <laughs> so evasive. You do know that I can always get my new P.I. to look into it. Well, you do that. If you don't mind, I'm, I'm gonna go home by myself. Really, why? Because I just really need to be alone. Sure. Who's that in the background? Well, I can't tell. Hold the camera. I'm sorry. Don't be. No, it's, it's me. I, I just like things with us the way they are. Why don't you ever think about it? Have you seen yourself in the mirror lately? Have you? Well, the question still stands. Sure, I have. <laughs> yes, but I don't want things to change between us. Friends till we're forty, huh? Dr. Long snuck in here while he thought I was sleeping. What? Yeah. He walked over to the window, he shut the blinds, he started snooping around, and then one of the nurses came in. Right. He said that he was leaving me a get well card. Oh, okay, yeah, what's just a, a get well card? Yeah, he must have swiped that off the table. So, so he, so he lied? This is from the nurses in pediatrics. I'm <laughs> telling you, Marcy, I get the weirdest feeling from this guy, okay? It's like he knows I'm watching him. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just flipping out over nothing. Then again, maybe you're not. You think? I think. Never seen Paul act like such a jerk. Yeah, I'm sorry I invited him over. 
sorry I ever got close to him. What was that all about? Desperate mothers, long lost kids. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, this is warped idea of making conversation, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Thanks. Sure. Must be something to it, though. The young boy and girl have been missing since last night. 13-year-old Star Manning and 15-year-old Travis O'Connell are believed to be together. If you have information, please contact the NYPD. Travis, if you can hear me, I love you. Please, Travis. Please, son. I just want you to come home. Star. We love you very much, sweetie. Star, uh, we hope that you can hear this, you're seeing this. Um, we know that you've been unhappy lately. But uh, right, we hope that you'll you'll come back to us. We beg you to come back to us. And and uh, I want to say, if there's somebody out there, um... sweetie, please, whatever we have done to make you unhappy, we will do our best to make you happy. Please, just come home. Stay tuned for scenes from the next. On the next One Life to Live. I know who transferred the money out of the corporate account, the $64,000, and uh, it wasn't Tom Manning. Who would know what Paul Kramer is ferrying out of here at night? I'd start with the girl that he was kissing up on the roof. Some stuff's about to go down here, and you don't want to get hurt.